Hello guys, welcome back to the channel once again. In this video, we'll be discussing how can you install the Windows 11 Insider Preview in all the older machines or to the latest one, okay? So this is the official page. You can get the link from the description down below. You just have to download their official ISO. Now the Microsoft says that you can install it over all the older machines, which supports the TPM for the AMD devices or if it's Intel, it must support the secure boot. So if your hardware specifications uh, have that choice of channel you can select and then you can select the addition you would like to go with like the developer option or with the beta channel so i would go with the this uh, developer uh, preview i would like to go with this one because this is much more um flexible and then select the product language you would like to go with and that's it download the iso burn rip or create a bootable usb it's all up to you or if you are going to download from any other source you can consider this site uup dump this also offers the choice to pick uh, isos or the earlier versions so you can pick anyone from here okay so now the uh, catch point is uh, you can install it over all the older machines there's uh, no doubt but that sh should support the tpm or secure, secure boot but that device won't get updates okay so you can install it but you have to be in that limited limited environment like you want to get updates so whatever you get in your hands you have that okay so uh, as we can see we have the iso done and now i'm just going to install it over vmware i don't want to uh, uh, compromise with my main system I, I just want to show you the demonstration so you can perform the same with your main machine like creating the bootable media however you would like with the dvd or usb usb is much preferred now these days okay so uh you can see my pc specifications it's running uh i5 7th generation with uh 12 gigs of ram i have recently upgraded so if you are uh, planning to install it over vmware workstation you can select the specifications and uh, you can pick windows 10 as per the preference because it doesn't have the latest list so yeah you can locate the uh, location where you would like to put it and uh, then go with the selections that i'm selecting or you guys are you guys better know which one to select okay and recommending it all the uh, requirements which actually windows 11 deserves <laughs> okay so uh, here we are done all those selections are done now the last and final thing that we need to allocate the uh device storage space and done now uh, the final thing that we have to look at the iso and then we are good to boot okay so here we are going over optical disk drive select the image file and just hit okay now the locating part is done now we can boot it and we can perform the installation okay all right here we have the bootable screen and yeah press any key to boot from cd or dvd or usb and here we have the screen so i have just cropped it so it could look uh, much more natural because over the vmware it doesn't look that uh, perfect because it's cropped image okay so you can see a very basic um introduction page and later you can select the product you would like to go with the pro uh, enterprise or whatever and then next accepting the terms and condition next if you want to upgrade on uh, that wouldn't go much well i don't think so yeah custom and installation is on the go All right, so I have uh, skipped most of the part because I don't want to consume this video much more time because the real time is much more different as you guys know. So yeah, here we are over this uh, um, installation area. So make sure the PC name is uh, without any spaces because that doesn't support, okay? Now uh, we are just over the final settings and just a moment and it will be done. So if you want to put your Microsoft credentials, you can put or you can just either go offline by selecting uh, down over this option, sign in options, and you can just hit over it and just select go offline and you're done. Now here you have to put the username and uh, 
I'm just giving it Windows 11. If you want to put a password, it's okay. Or if you don't want to put, it's okay. You can select the privacy according to you. So yeah, I'm just going to uncheck all of them. I don't want to share my experience or any uh, performance data with Microsoft. And we are almost done. And here we are. So it is taking the final last update. So whatever the latest package could be in the Microsoft server that would fetch all those um, required files from them uh, and uh, that will install it over this. So that would be much more consuming, a time consuming process. So yeah, again, I'm skipping all of that. And here we are done within <laughs> two minutes i guess okay so uh you can see we are done with all the uh, installation procedure we have successfully installed it and we are just over the welcome screen now 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 and we are done 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 come on good things coming your way yeah done done almost there yeah finally we are over this uh virtual machine with successful installation of windows 11. so uh that's how you can install it and later just install the vmware tool so it can uh accept the screen size and it could look much more better so to install that all you just have to open this pc and go over vmware tools and just hit install and you will see your screen stretched over to the actual monitor screen right here we are done so you can see it's now much more natural elegant clean and perfect and i just have to restart it for the final and last time and from the next reboot whenever you see your windows 11 virtual machine you can see it's all performing very well but according to the device's specifications so if it has a lower spec like very few uh, size of ram that wouldn't work perfectly so yeah here we have the successful installation of windows 7 over seventh generation of i5 pc and it's working quite fine so yeah that's how you can install it over uh older pcs but make sure you have enabled the secure boot or the tpm as according to your uh, pc device specification so yeah thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video and if you have any questions to ask ask me down in the comment section below bye bye